as you can see behind me, we've got Mandrel Mayhem, the newest roller coaster at Chessington. And today, we're riding it at night. Look how cool that is. Here we go. I'm, I'm dying. The spooky music's on. Oh, it's Halloween season in Chessington. Hello. Zoom in on my pumpkin. It's the wrong part. That's the smiler, mate. Ah, it is Halloween at Chessington. What? It's basically really sunny, as you can see, but it feels like it's about eight degrees. That's why I've got my coat on. I don't like English weather. Look, there's the frozen outpost. That'll be me today. I need to bloody, I don't even need to go there. I'm frozen already. It sounds like the ostriches are going around with the music. But we are here for Chessington Halloween, and uh, I mean, there's a few things on, so we'll check them out. But also, it means the park is open till late, so we can ride that at night. Mental mayhem at night, are we excited? I mean, I don't know about your bedtime, but mine is at seven o'clock, late night riding my own. Woo! It's random. The sunlight is so bad today. Making for some incredible shots. <laughs> Bins. And I was so cold that I forgot to say my classic tagline. If you do go on to enjoy this vlog and you want to see more just like this, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Here it comes, you ready? Not Mamba Strike, ignore that. Whoa! That's better sunlight. And then it's just going to get worse, ready? See, before we ride this later tonight, and hopefully in the day as well, because it is quite busy today, so we don't know if we're going to get a free book. As you can see, there's loads of merch for the world of Jumanji, and they have released these resins. That is so cool. I'm going to be buying one of them. 15 pounds, I believe. Yep. I'm buying it. Moments later. Purchase complete. Had to make sure we get one before the enthusiasts come and sell it out. There's so much smoke coming from over there. But why is that? There's Mandrel Mayhem on fire. It's ha exactly, Halloween means smoke effects. It's because of that thing. Vile Villages, the scare zone. It's similar to if you've watched the uh, Towers vlog, similar to, what was it called? What was Burial Grounds? I was about to call it The Chosen. Imagine that as a name of a scare zone. But it's like that, over there, behind the trees, but themed to Vile Villages. And guess what it's called? Vile Villages. One of my favorite rides here, Barrel Bailout. It is freezing cold today. Em, do you want to go on barrel bailout? Also my other favorite thing at Chessington, the Ben & Jerry scoop shop. If you don't know, I'm a milkshake connoisseur, so I need a milkshake from there. Another Halloween thing, Vampire's Burger Kitchen, the Dark Cursed Burger. Dan, they got the wrong theme park. Uh, is the curse at all my I've literally compared everything in this vlog to something here, compared it to something at Towers. And I've done it again. Thank you, Em. Bloody hell, you see that massive spinning roller coaster there? Here we go. Em spinning around. <laughs> it's on 70 minutes. That's a long way. Oh, the dragon's working today. Oh, look, he's peering his head off. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> this is going to be a show venue later. We're going to see it. We are going to see it with our very own eyes. We've got the Banyan Fire and Ice Show at 1, 2, 30, 3, 30, 4, 30, 5, 30, 6, 15. Best Live Entertainment Silver Award at the UK Theme Park Award. Again, Em just said it on our vlog, but a massive thank you for Content Creator of the Year in the Theme Park Awards. I'm very excited to see this award-winning show. It's going to be epic. We're over here for the show because it is literally almost one o'clock when we came over. I didn't realise that. But uh, yeah, Monkey Swinger. They're, they seem to be spraying off water. Are the, are, the, are the jets on? There's no water. So why are they dripping wet? Oh! Oh my god! First time in my life. It's been forever since I've seen them on. I kind of want to go on it. Even though it'll be a soaker. Oh. The temptation. It's time for Banyan Fire and Ice. I need some fire. Because it's too icy around here. It's not even icy, it's just cold. And that was the end of the Ban Banyan Fire and Ice show, I think. It, is that what it's called? Yeah, ba I think the whole Fire and Ice thing's new for this year, because last year I don't think there was a whole ice crew. And I quite liked it, because every time the ice was uh, sort of 
the main focal point. It was always blasts of smoke. And then whenever it was the red, it was always fire. It was fire and ice. I like it. It was good. I can see why it's award winning and I can see why a lot of people gather for this thing because it's um, very epic. I enjoyed that and we'll definitely watch that later on when it's dark. I caved in, we're going on monkey swinger. Look at the jets. Oh, they actually are hitting people. Oh, it's going to hit me. We're on monkey swinger. I'm prepared. We're going to get soaked. We're going to get soaked. We're going to get soaked. <laughs> I'm so, that was such a bad idea. Literally, I don't know if you can see it, there's two different shades of orange. Look, ready? One's like light orange, one's dark orange. I give up. <laughs> I'm gonna show Em the pumpkin patch. Look at the pumpkin patch. I don't know what this is. Oh, I just dropped my phone. No, there's just a pumpkin patch here and it's open between 12 and seven. I think it's literally free. You can go in here just free roaming, I guess. There's someone waving. Hello. This is so cool. Look, it's pick of the patch. This reminds me of Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Wear Rabbit. I'm slow down for pickies sake. You'll fuck on me from. But yeah, this area literally used to be just sort of seating area, just sand on the floor, like this sort of material. I really like this. I think they didn't need to do this and they've done it. And I love that. Oh, here he is, the big pumpkin spider. Oh my God, he actually is just the body of a pumpkin. That is very cool. I think these are real, all these pumpkins here. Yeah, it's real. Solid theming. Realistic. And then it was time to ride the best coaster in the park before it got dark, of course. The time has come to ride Mandrel Mayhem in the day. We're gonna ride it at night later, but um, yeah, our reservation was supposed to be for 2.20. It then got changed to like 3.07, and then it changed back to 2.20. So we're here now. Here we go. Now, one thing I basically wanted to film this entire section for, not that we're actually in it right now, is to mainly talk about the single rider that's on this now. You don't even have to reserve anything. You just walk into the single rider queue, it's over there. I, I should probably go in it to show you, but yeah, get the dish. A single rider queue, you don't have to reserve it. It's very cool. Oh, the sun is so bright, I can't even see. Oh. These trees have grown up very nicely over the past few months. We're gonna get on. We'll tell you how it is when we get on. There we go, we've just had a front row ride on that thing. What a beautiful ride that was. It wasn't that bouncy. Um, I had the inside seat, Em had the outside. She demanded that she had the outside, didn't you? Yes. To be fair, on the front row, your legs get blocked by one of the like, leg guards, so don't sit on the inside if you can. But it was very good. And now we're going to head to Vile Villages, which is the little scare zone or scare walkthrough that they've opened for Halloween. We'll come back here when it's nighttime. Bar villages, bar villages. Are we ready for bar villages? No, I'm so scared. You did burial grounds. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, burial grounds is a pig fast going. Digital dance. <laughs> Yo, yeah. or what they call digital sound. Yes. <laughs> yeah, vampires going above us whilst we wait in this queue for bar villages. Oh look, we're moving this open. Going. Here we go down into oh little near miss element. It's time to go into the village. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Oh. No, not for you. Not it's nearly dinner time apparently. <laughs> Beware of the dog. Two hundred and four people in this village. Oh, spooky stuff. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, I'm d I'm dying. <laughs> Right, we don't, yeah, we don't want to, don't want to stroke that anymore. I like the view of Mandrill. Again, it's typical for me to be looking at coasters whilst I'm going for a scare attraction, but oh well. Swap. 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 Can do. Are you here for dinner? Yeah, why not? We always need more food. You can wait in the tunnel. We'll get to you eventually. Oh, spooky tunnel. I didn't realise, but I stopped recording in the final tunnel bit. That's why I just had to do that little cinematic of... Oh, look! Why do I keep calling it a cinematic? Am I done? But yeah, Vile Villagers was interesting, to say the least. The actors were uh, very, very good. Very enjoyed their 
interactions per se, although they did tell me to die, which was quite mean. I don't like that. If you don't like scare mains and scare zones, do that when it's at two pumpkins. I didn't know it was open from 12 to three. Do it then. Don't do it past three, because that was also quite scary. I had a few jump scares and stuff. Um, and the end bit's quite claustrophobic, and it's very smoky, and there's actors in there, so, oh, take heed. It's the best time of day. Ben and Jerry Scoop Shop. Oh yes, it's milkshake time. But now it is time for you guys to transport yourself to another time frame because it is now night time. And we're outside the world of Jumanji. It's, it's sort of night time. It's almost night time, but by the time we look around this area and see it for ourselves in the dark, it should be a time for a night ride. Wow, look at this. That looks so cool. That. There's like some red flashing light there, and then wherever this is. Oh, look, I'm, I'm in a mirror. Let me click the button. Oh. oh. I was hoping it'd be Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I can't. Warning. Man drills. Maybe that's the warning light over there. I'm really liking the different colors I'm seeing though. You've got like the red flashing, the purple brushy stampede, uh, sort of mamba strike in the market areas all sort of lit up. It's normally like a market mandrel that has all the blue over there and then also the green there and also the emily here i'm a marshmallow here it comes can't even see it through the trees whoa 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 look at that that is well cool i love that at night why does it look so dark oh my god well, that's now too bright. Somebody just walked past and said, this is better than Swarm. Is it a better theme than the Swarm? No, screw the ride itself. Is it better theme than the Swarm? I don't know. Probably not, but it looks cool. The queue really has nothing as in lighting. As you can see, it's sort of just dimly lit, like parks over there and all that, but I guess it doesn't need to be, you know. That looks really cool from down there. I love the green lighting. Look, all the lights are like flickering. No, not flickering, but they're like dimming down and then brightening up. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is looking really nice. I'm excited to see what's inside the station. Looks nice from out here. We're going over. This feels lighter than normal. This looks well cool. You can't even see anything over there. I can't wait for this. Thank you. Here we go. I think we're row five. Row five. In the dark. He's mandrel bay every time. was so epic. That was amazing at night. Look, you can't even see it. Oh my god, flashback. You can sort of see where you were going on that, but you also couldn't. That was the fun part of that. I loved that. That's like one of my favourite night rides in the UK, I reckon. That was so much fun. Look how cool that is, like. That is so cool. You can hear M talking about how good it was, like. We loved it. This is a great new area for the UK. Subscribe to the channel. Night night.